They do now make a GFCI outlet with a USB and a USB-C built into it. So those are right now new on the market. So if you've got a kitchen counter that you plug your phone or laptop or something to charge, they do now make GFCI outlets with USB in it and USB-C. This is the Checker Pro Radio Show. Checker Pro Joe has assembled a team of pre-qualified home service contractors to bring you the latest in services, products, and techniques. Now, here's your host, the man with a hard hat and tool belt, Checka Pro Joe. I want to talk electrical here, and I want to talk about electrical safety. This is very important. Many of us have heard of a GFCI circuit or outlet, but you don't know what it is. Well, I've asked an expert in the electrical field to join me. His name is Gareth Kelly from Dream Team Air Conditioning, Heating, Plumbing, and Electrical. Hey, Gareth, how are you? I am doing good, Joel. Thanks for having me on the show today. Yeah, thank you for being here. So a GFCI, that's obviously abbreviated. Why don't you tell us what it is? No problem, Joel. So a GFCI stands for a ground fault circuit interrupter. And what that means is it turns the electric off to the circuit or to the appliance or anything that you have plugged into that if it is an outlet. We sometimes in the electrical field refer to them as shock providers. So it prevents an electric shock. So if it finds an imbalance in the circuit from live to ground or neutral to ground, it will trip that ground fault circuit breaker or outlet. They're, they're really um, important to have throughout your home. Ground fault circuit breakers have been around since the early 80s. They're required pretty much most of the areas of home. So and throughout your kitchen, anywhere within six feet of water, all your bathrooms, your lower levels, beside your HVAC equipment, so the guys see if it's working on your HVAC equipment. They're also required in your garage, and they're required in unfinished areas of your house, make down the basement. Um, you know, maybe you have a sump pump or something like that, but still requires a GFCI outlet. Basically, outdoors, GFCI outlets are required in all of your receptacles outdoors. They're really handy, and they're very safe to have, and you need them by code in certain areas, like Gareth said, including outside your laundry room, the basement, like he said, garage. I'll tell you, though, what gets tricky, everybody. Sometimes there'll be an outlet in your garage or your bathroom or a closet that doesn't work anymore. So you go over to the panel, and you're like, well, I switched everything back, and it still doesn't go on. Well, these are put in series quite often, and there might just be one outlet that needs to be reset. Isn't that true? Yeah, that's true. Um, a lot of times when homes are wired and you know, builders, you know, in an, an effort to save money, they would put the GFCI receptacle at the very start of the circuit. So they wouldn't have them on each one that requires it. Sometimes when outside out, they stop working. There is a GFCI uh, trip somewhere or in the garage, the outlet stop working. Sometimes that outlet most likely is located beside the panel. It depends on whoever wired at that time. It could be in the bathroom. It could be behind a, a chair or piece of furniture. You know, so sometimes, you know, locating exactly where that GSEI trip can be challenging um, because you have to search every wall and every area, every room sometimes to find it. And these ground fault circuit interrupter outlets are not a normal outlet. And over time, they may need to be replaced. Why is that? A lot of the outlets now have a self-test function on them. It's like anything, you know, the, the parts inside that wear out, you know, nothing's built to last forever. So there is a recommended um, time that they should be replaced. Some of the newer GCI outlets have a little light on it, and it tells you when it's tripped. So it lights up with a little LED in the bottom corner, and it tells you that this outlet is tripped, and then you can set the reset button on it. One other thing I wanted to let you know too uh, is for consumers out there, they do now make a GFCI outlet with a USB and a USB-C built into it. So those are right now new on the market. So if you've got a kitchen counter that you plug your phone or laptop or something to charge, they do now make GFCI outlets with USB in it and USB-C. It could save you some space on your countertop or we can put them somewhere else so you can plug your phone in to charge. That's really handy now, these outlets that have these... USB charging ports or low voltage USB coming out, which is extremely handy for all the new devices today. Gareth, thank you so much for your insight on the GFCI. Much appreciated. Gareth Kelly is his name. Dream Team Air Conditioning, Heating, Plumbing, and Electrical 
is his company. All of his contact information is located in the description of this podcast. Thanks, Gareth. You're welcome, Joe. Have a great day. Checka Pro is your local source for pre-qualified contractors. Stay tuned for more of the Checka Pro Radio Show.